Okay, greetings pen pals. We have a, un, what I think is a somewhat unusual pen today. I'm going to do an unboxing video. This is the Oeso self-inking pen. So this is a pen that comes with its own ink well, which will supposedly fill by itself. So let's see, uh, we shall see uh, how that works um, uh, uh, momentarily as we unbox this. So basically comes in this package. It's almost completely in Chinese. I don't, very little English here. They do have a little slogan, write the future, but uh, there we go. So we can open it, open this uh, box up. And so we have this, oh, by the way, one other thing it came with, which was came with its own little bag, which has a picture of the pen and the inkwell on it. So I guess maybe if you bought it in a store, this is the bag you would get uh, get it in. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have this, so let's see, it has this open up, this plastic sleeve comes off. So let's see, we have some instructions. So it's a good thing there's lots of pictures here. Um, so um, it appears that you uncap the pen you stick the pen uh, on um, into the inkwell. You push it down, and supposedly the ink comes up, and that's it. So it fills through the back end of the pen, and then it looks like the filling mechanism comes out and can be replaced with a cartridge or converter. I think that's what they're trying to say. Yeah, that's how I would interpret those instructions. Um, and. Um, there we go. Very nice. Um, and then we have the inkwell itself, which is very, appears to be very reminiscent of the character Baymax from the movie Big Hero 6. Well, I don't think that's what it's literally supposed to be, but it does pretty much look like that. It does have a label here. We can look at that translation of what that label says. It says 500 mils of what they're saying. Rubbed blue is the way they're describing the color. I'm going to guess that really means like washable blue if I had to guess and for inking pen. So there we go. Um, so that is our uh, inkwell. And then in the package, we have the pen, it, pen itself. We'll get to that in a minute. We have, there's something else in here, let's see. Let's see, we have more instructions. Uh, yes, yeah, so this looks to describe how you refill the inkwell. It looks like you have to take by the syringe type refill and kind of squirt it in. And it has this little rubber thing, which looks to be some sort of a rubber stopper. I'm gonna, I don't, I'm not quite sure what this, oh, okay. I'm looking at the pen now and I see that the filler on the end of the pen is, uh, has this little hole. I'm guessing, and this is a purely a guess, but I think this is a good guess that if you are not gonna use the automated filling mechanism, you can replace that with this to seal up the hole, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe this is just a replacement rubber seal for inside, for inside the end there. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna do some further research there, but it looks like it clearly goes it's a replacement for what goes in the end of the pen there. And this picture does show, this picture does show removing and replacing that rubber seal at the end. So I'm guessing that's what that is. So that is that. Let's take a closer look at the pen now. <clears throat> All right, looks like a little bit like a Lamy Safari. Let's get a, let's, check out the size on this. So here it is compared to a Lamy Safari. Uh, it's a bit longer. 
It is compared to a Pilot Metropolitan if you want to do some more size comparisons. Um, it does have this nice, very stylish looking slant here and on the end here it's got um, sort of a cutout almost or an accent that slants makes the same kind of slant there so that's actually pretty nice I like that and then it does have say it does say Oso embossed on the top of the cap it's a pull-off cap it does post and post nicely and it does appear to have a Lamy style nib. So here it is compared to an actual Lamy nib. You flip it over. Yeah, this looks like you could almost certainly actually swap nibs with a Lamy pen with this. It does have a Lamy style triangular section. So this whole thing is very, very uh, Lamy like. So this is basically looks like a Lamy Vista. Um, which is the clear version of the Safari. It does have pretty nice molded in plastic clip, although this does look like it would, might, this does appear to be a tiny bit flimsy. Looks like it might uh, break, but um, not too bad. Let's unscrew the section. So, okay, so there's, oh, okay, yeah. All right, so that thing that we saw is just simply a replacement for one of these because this doesn't have a hole in it either. So this that that little rubber stopper was a replacement for that. So I guess that's sort of into that sort of a, looks like a key looks like it'll be a key component of the filling mechanism that perhaps will wear out. Um, it does have a hole in the end, so I'm guessing there's not going to be eye droppering of this. But the whole reason you wouldn't want to eye drop with this anyway. The whole reason for this is that cool filling mechanism. Although it does say in the instructions that this comes out, which it does. And it does say you can replace this with a cartridge or a converter. Um, I wonder if it's Lamy compatible for the converter as well, because it actually does look a little bit Lamy like. That opening is suspiciously like the Lamy cartridge. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it does fit. So the Lamy converter will fit. So we're talking a Lamy compatible nib and a Lamy compatible converter on uh, on this guy, which um, which does seem to be nice. So I guess you could use a Lamy cartridge or a Lamy converter if you so chose to. Um, but you do have this cool filling mechanism, which we're going to see how that works. It does have a agitator in there as well. So there's a lot of a couple of nice features going on here um, in terms of this pen. I do like this this angle thing here. I think that's pretty neat. Um, well, I have no I have no idea how well this filling mechanism is going to work, but there's no time like the present, so let's try it. So we're going to unscrew the top. And okay. So there's like a needle there which is going to go into the back of the pen. This makes it looks like it may, this makes a very nice seal. I mean, this came shipped all the way from Asia and there's like nothing leaked or anything here. So this seal obviously must work really well. Um, now, it's hard to see here, but this base looks like it compresses. So when you push down like this, this pedestal here looks like it squeezes and then it's going to force the ink. So I'm guessing when you put the pen in there and then push down is when it is when the magic really really happens um, the question is do they want you to fill this with the pen capped or uncapped I'm guessing uncapped but let's double check the instructions to be on the safe side yes uncapped yes the instructions say you you want to fill it uncapped so here we go I'm gonna put it right in there um, all right, that needle goes, is going into that hole. I'm going to push down. And there we go. The ink's coming up. I'm going to hold that to the side. And it, wow, it just filled right up there. 
Look at that. One push. And it filled right up. As a matter of fact, a little bit of ink actually, oh, more than a little bit of ink actually came out of the of the top here. So this made a little bit of a mess, frankly. Um, but um, let me take this out. But that filled really, really quickly, and it certainly worked. Um, there we go. And I'm guessing that seals pretty well. I'm assuming. Let's recap this. But uh, that worked. Um, maybe I think the trick is it looks like maybe I left it for a few seconds after the ink shot up, just admiring how well it worked. I'm thinking maybe the thing to do is pull it right off and you won't av you'll avoid the couple of drips of ink that uh, that came out. Um, but like I said, this does appear to have worked from a filling uh, perspective. Um, but of course you're going to want to know how this pen writes. And I'm going to show you that right now. Okay folks, so what we're writing with here is the OASO automatic filling pen and um, this uh, this writes pretty nicely I have to say um, there's a little bit of feedback but uh, it's sort of an amount that I kind of like and I'm kind of comfortable with I'd say it's about average wetness um, with this uh, blue ink that uh, comes with it um, but it's uh, but it's a pretty nice it's a pretty nice uh, pen it's a bit just like I said it's a bit stylish very lamy like but all in all pretty pretty nice um, like I said, uh, again, you, you have the same kind of Lamy section, same kind of Lamy. Again, this is just really, really very Lamy Safari, like in 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 just just a myriad of ways. So, um, so like I said, this uh, it's a pretty nice writer. The filling mechanism is quite quite unique. Um, not 100% unique though, so if you want to go back in time, there was a pen from Pelican called the Level, which uh, apparently worked very similarly. I didn't have one of those, but um, it did. Uh, it did work that. Uh, it did work and use a similar mechanism with a proprietary ink bottle, um, etc. So that's not that's not 100% 100% uh, unique. But um, this is pretty cool. Um, this is not widely available in the U.S. as far as I know. I did have to have it shipped from uh, uh, over from China, but um, but uh, again, it's like I said, kind of a unique little filling uh, system, um, and um, not a bad little writer. Um, costs about the same as a Lamy Safari, but you're getting the pen, and you're getting this whole cool uh, ink filling system. So that's. Uh, that's actually not a bad, and you're getting the big the bottle of ink with 50 50, mil, uh, 50 mils of ink. So again, not not a bad deal, really at all. Uh, and 50 mils of ink is a will go a very very long way. Um, so that's about it, and all I have to say about this uh, particular uh, pen. Again, very very unusual uh, pen. Um, but uh, again, I'm pleased with it and pretty uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, it did make a little bit of a mess when I was filling it, but like I said, I think the key thing for there is to maybe just instead of sitting there admiring how well the filling mechanism works and standing there looking at it, I think I should have just pulled the pen off of the um, off of the uh, inkwell, and I think it would things would have uh, worked a little bit better. But all well, not not bad, nothing to really complain about. Um, 
So I think that'll just about do it for this video for today. As always, I hope you enjoy. Oh, before I forget, hold on a minute. I'm not quite ready to say goodbye yet. I do want to remind you folks to please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would kindly do that, I would much appreciate it. Now I could say goodbye. So as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will catch you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.